Radio Raw here with Pauly Malignaggi. Hey, Pauly, Pauly, listen, I don't make predictions, man, but I do have opinions. I was sitting ringside for this whole card, and by the time your fight came up, I was like, Pauly is fucking crazy for doing this. Uh, I, I, I couldn't be more impressed what you did in there. You did what you said you would do. You moved, you stuck, you jabbed, you threw shots. Like, uh, walk me through the fight from your perspective. And I beat him with one hand. I broke my hand around two. I mean, I, I guess that's one prediction everybody was right about. I, I would break my hand, right? I, I'm, I'm, I mean, I didn't get an x-ray, but I've, I've broken my hand enough times to know what it feels like. And I'm pretty sure with that, I landed a, a, a jab to the stomach. Uh, right hand to the head combination around two with a one-two but like a divided one-two with a jab to the stomach and the right hand up top and uh i i, I instant i landed it I, I i knew my hand broke and I, I don't know if i even threw another right hand the rest of the fight uh but but i really felt like i didn't need to i felt like honestly like i was controlling the fight with my left hand i mean i i, I jab and check hooking it was getting hit on the way in i don't know like i said in the post-fight interview maybe these judges they um they uh they, they, haven't, they don't get many fights down here, man. You know what I'm saying? Like, I know at Showtime, we, I don't think we've ever come here in six years that I've been working here, you know? So, so I don't think they get many fights down here. Maybe maybe these people don't, don't haven't judged a real fight in, since the 20th century or so, but... But, uh, but uh, I mean, it was, I thought I boxed boxing very clearly. I thought it was a clinical boxing uh, lesson, uh, sort of going back to my old days in my early boxing career where I would have to box one-handed. So I knew what I was doing. I didn't panic when my right hand broke. I didn't panic when my right hand broke. I felt like, you know, I felt like I had it uh, in the bag, uh, aside from that uh, hiccup of a third round where he caught me just that one time in the clinch, you know. Uh, but a couple of times I went off balance uh, on, on the spins, you know, when I was spinning off the ropes, you know, and as he maybe grazed me to the stomach or something like that. I, mean, I guess maybe they thought that gave him the round or maybe that or maybe they thought he was hurting me or something. I mean, those shots weren't even landing clean. I mean, even the head shots that he may have landed aside from those ones that opened up the cut, they weren't let great. They were very grazing or if, if, if landing even at all, you know. Uh, I thought it was a... Uh, 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 I mean, I, you know, usually like when a fight's close, I'm like, oh man, this fight might be close. Like, like going into the fifth round, I thought I, I was in control, and I thought like, you know, I thought I controlled even the fifth round. You know, with my jab, uh, I was I was pasting him, I was uh, I was painting him, uh, opening him up, different cuts on his face, and and just checking him and whatnot. Um, I, I real shame, real shame the judges missed a, a good boxing match, man. You know, because I, I thought I boxed very well to not be given credit for uh, for the way I, I, I did it. And maybe, like I said in the post-fight interview, maybe this was. Maybe this was the sign that you know I made the wrong choice. <laughs> you know, I, I'm always going for the adventure, the adventurous route, I guess. But maybe, maybe this was uh, 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 the sign to say. No more, bro. You know yeah. what I mean? Because if I won, I would have probably done this again. <laughs> Thank God, in that sense, you didn't win. Because tonight, I think it was about just guys being able to be tough enough to go out of these this this fight standing. You didn't go down. You like I thought composed I didn't yourself compose, well. I didn't come, come close to going down. Like I was, I never even got hurt with any shots. You know, like again, I, I sometimes I got hit off the spin or off the pivot where it went off balance a little bit. But I mean, I, I didn't even feel any of the shots. You know what I'm saying? You, I've, I've been way hurt, wor, wor, hurt, way worse in boxing matches. Way Worse. Now, what I didn't know is until tonight was that you could hold and hit in this yeah. thing. That's legal. Yeah, that's how, well, that's how I got cut. I, he got right. me one of the clinches, which you know, credit to him. That's a uh, that's uh, one of the MMA advantages. And he got me one of the clinches. I had I had worked uh, with the, in the clinches with uh, Ray Longo in Long Island, and I thought we'd done a good job. And I thought uh, uh, it showed. I thought it showed where I, I was able to lock him up in the clinches and really not let him work very well in those clinches. But he got me one of them. He got me one of them, and he got me with a couple little short shots and and uh, uh, good knuckle shots. And of course, I got a lot of scar tissue around my eyes, so I bruise and cut easy. And uh, and the open the cuts opened up but that was it that was just that did it surprise you how easily the cuts opened up and did the cuts bother nah, you at nah, all nah, I, I expected it um they bothered me until i got to the corner i got i got the best coming in the sport and danny milano you know so i mean they, they bothered me in the middle of the round but once i got back to the corner i mean danny took care of it and that was it you know um uh, but of course uh you know in the moment uh some of it got in my eye when uh when it was dripping but uh, but that was it once once he once danny got to it it was fine and then i wasn't getting hit really so it wasn't like it was going back in my eye once danny got to work on it you know it wasn't really bothering me the rest of the fight was there anything that surprised you and anything you weren't prepared for that you had to adjust to um no nah, no nah, not really uh, uh it was it was um, it was pretty much what i expected you know uh, I guess I would have liked to throw more punches, but I broke my hand. You know, I would have been able to throw probably more one twos and more combinations and really lit him up a little bit better. But hey, credit to him. You know, he he kept fighting. He fought with a lot of heart, and uh, they gave him the decision. And uh, all power to him. And I uh, hope he goes on to do good things. Now, to both of your credits, at the end of the at the end of the fight, you guys hugged. You, you guys hugged and showed respect to each yeah. other. You, you feel differently about him. Do you have mutual respect now? Is this is this grudge over? Um, I don't respect what he they done because uh, they lied. But I mean, uh, respect to the fighter for sure. You know, I mean, he came in, he fought, he fought hard, and uh, he, he was given the decision. He was awarded the decision and that was it. Pauli Malignaggi, wonderful performance, man. I'm not going to hit your hand, but Radio Rahim, hold on, hold on one second.
Radio Raheem with the magic man, Paulie Malignaggi, showing his courage and valor tonight. Well done. Excellent fight, champ.